So before we last but not least it, I actually there is one last news story that I'm shocked you didn't put in this week, Wolves. Um, and that is, uh, if you mind me taking it away, um, it's Epic is suing Google and Apple. I missed this completely. You did? Yeah, Fucking I didn't see this. What's Let going me on? Explain the step one, step two, step three to you. All right. Step one, Fortnite is on the App Store and the Apple, what's it called, the App Store? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the App Store and the Google Play Store, right? Of course it is. Mm -hmm. Fortnite's big, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Step two, Epic star starts the Epic Game Store because they think that Steam's de facto monopoly on PC games is bullshit, and they don't want to pay the 30% that Steam charges, right? Step three, Apple and... Uh, Google also charged 30% of your revenue to be on your store, right? So when you buy V-Bucks on your mobile device, it 30% of that cost goes to Apple or Google, right? Mm. Step, uh, step whatever, doesn't matter. Um, Epic Games announces an incoming discount to all V-Bucks on uh, mobile devices. It's going to be 20% off but only if you buy it directly through the Fortnite app, which coincidentally dodges the... Ooh, the and adds Apple it to your Apple. account without going through their service. Right. So Apple first goes, the fuck are you doing? And Epic says, suck my nuts. And then Apple goes, no, suck our fucking nuts, mm. motherfucker. And delists mm. Fortnite from Apple products. Mm. Then, like, I want to say like 12 hours later, Android and Google do the same fucking thing. Uh, and they go, you broke the TOS, you dumb pieces of shit. And Epic goes, you motherfuckers, you're having a monopoly. We're going to sue you for antitrust laws because... You guys are you make it impossible to sell games on your devices without going through your stores, and that's bad. And it is it is not okay for you guys to have software not sold on your store be at a disadvantage. So they are suing them under antitrust laws in total defiance of the hilarious irony. That is Epic trying to monopolize PC games. This That's... is one of those stories in which everybody involved are all horrible corporate entities and they're all complete pieces of shit. However, Fortnite has something that the others don't. It has the kids watching games inside Fortnite. So what they That's did, what 1980 Fortnite was? Well, as they were broadcasting 1980 Fortnite within. That's right. The Apple, a parody of the Apple ad, which itself is a tribute to Orwell's 1984. And they thought, you know what 12-year-olds are way into? 1984. And a and a goddamn Apple computer <laughs> ad that came out fucking 36 years ago. Oh my god. She threw the unicorn hammer into the screen. Hashtag free Fortnite. <laughs> it's the worst. Wow. Wow! Like, I, like this goes perfectly with our boomer conversation earlier. Cause and, what, and the fucking Orwell uh, talk. I'm from... not old enough to have seen that fucking Apple ad. That's amazing. Who the fuck is this video for the 45 year olds that remember this decades old commercial. Wow. I because I okay the I saw. People tweeting about 1980 Fortnite, but I just ignored it. I completely ignored it. I had no idea what was going on, and I didn't care. That's hilarious, dude. So, uh, Fortnite, oh wow, 
downloaded Fortnite, you can still play Fortnite on these devices. Mm-hmm. But that represents nearly every mobile device on the planet has had Fortnite delisted. That is a big fucking hit. So that Google, a- Apple, and what else? Google and Apple. Okay. So Android and the App Store say, okay. go fuck it. Because, yeah, when you make... When you make a fucking um, uh, 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 when you make an app on on any of these platforms, like one of the deals with the thing you sign is absolutely in-app purchases are done through the app, and separate sign-up things or websites or places where you can interact or encounter or, or work with your your um your account. Are not for circumventing the store, <laughs> and Ooh. you know Ooh, people are giving us some updates. As What's a result up? of the lawsuit, Apple has expanded the drop to any app using the Unreal Engine. <laughs> and have removed Epic Games developer accounts for iOS and Macintosh. So you just cannot play it on no Mac delisting. At all. delisting. They've delisted it from Mac, like all Mac things. But they they basically just killed the Unreal Engine on Mac devices. Wow. This is about oh as petty God. as it could get. This but is it's perfect. But it's petty like kaiju battles. Yeah, they're all, they all want to like it's like so it's probably for the best that Epic wins this lawsuit so that Apple can't have its monopoly on the App Store and that's good, right? But hmm. the reason why they want to do that is so that they can make their own Cause, monopoly. Cuz they're on trying the App Store. to do that shit with their own store already. Yeah, and so like it's it's this It's not for the like, right reasons. And if you're no, going to frame it as mind control and everybody must obey, yeah, you're the one that's trying to fucking do that. It's so great, and also it's like Epic going. We have like infinity money coming in. Okay, it's Fortnite a threat. Office. They actually they haven't actually done it yet. Oh, they haven't done it yet, but they're gonna. You know they're gonna. Apple says it will cut off Epic Games from iOS, impacting Fortnite and all un- un- Unreal Engine software. Do it. Okay. Do it. Yeah, it is. It oh. is like, it is a fucking stick fight. But between giants, so that's Epic wild. is getting what I'm going to consider infinity dollars off of Fortnite on mobile, right? Yes. Just like, and they want no, we want thirty percent more infinity dollars, and we're gonna we're gonna gamble for it, and the gamble is now we're making zero, <laughs> <laughs> or they're making they're making way less. Than they were before, because now they can't get new people in. Well, the real question is, and this is what they're testing, is how big is Fortnite's dick, right? It's the biggest we've ever seen. Yeah, but, but it's not big enough for Apple to play ball. Apple would never play ball with anything. But do, but do, that, but that's what I'm, like you know what I mean? Like they're like, hold on a minute though. Can they just be like, nah, fuck you? We'll take that hit and. We're so fucking girthy that we can take the hit and it won't even matter. We can tank it, you know, while we fight until we get our way and then legally we come back around and, you know, fucking sue you for the damages or whatever the fuck the results end up being. Because monopoly versus monopoly equals, like, it doesn't matter how you fucking frame it or what you say, we all, we lose in the end. Um... But yeah. Fortnite is a beast. It is a gargantuan thing that can and continue to exist on all the other platforms it's on. Although it's pretty fucked up if um, if it's delisted. Does that mean that it's removed from people's phones? No, eh? It's, no, no, I mean, they can still play it, but you can't get a new copy. Right, okay. Yeah. So everyone who was and is using it is still able to do so. Right? That means their numbers can only go down now. And that's not infinite growth, is it? You would think they would like... Do something like just make it so that the 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 accounts are like no are like un not shareable or so I, I don't know like hmm it's 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 pretty wild because like this is where you get into like the other side of um crossplay 
and account sharing where mm-hmm. could you imagine if there's bucks to be bought on you know this if this is a console based thing and you're switching over to PSN to buy something and Microsoft's like what the fuck are you doing like use your account over here buy it through our store and they're losing out on that you know like this is absolutely a a, a squabble that kind of needs to happen because if your account account can be played in multiple places and there's an incentive on each one to get you know uh, uh you to buy it through them you can't force people to fucking just you know have to buy it on each individual platform like you're going to have to you're going to have to come to some sort of consensus on that and i have no idea what it how to play that i just hope i hope they all waste a bunch of their money fighting this lawsuit forever and then I want most of the people who are involved in this piss fight to fall into the ocean and get eaten by sharks. The winning thing for the player is to have a choice where they want to buy their V-Bucks, I suppose. Um, I'm reminded of Steam games costing less because Steam charges less uh from the developer to list their shit man you want to fucking you want to fucking talk about getting ripped off by epic you know control mhm so control is coming to steam on the 27th mhm and it's coming for $20 less than it was on the epic store mhm and it also includes the DLCs for free wow okay and if you're getting the console version, it also includes a goddamn uh, free upgrade to the next gen version. So you, if you bought it like nine months ago, you essentially pay double for it and don't get that. So fuck 505 games and Epic. Holy shit. That is an insane value deal to drop later compared to what it was. Yeah, that's insane. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um Someone said only the deluxe version? Yeah, it has to be like the new control deluxe something or other. Well, is that already more expensive than the original default release was? No, it's cheaper. <laughs> when did cheaper. control come out? Like 8 months ago. Fuck. Okay. Well, it's fucking. In most circumstances, um, that the 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 fact that like Steam is able to basically uh, uh, undercut competition by saying to the developer, "Hey, we pass the savings on to you, so you can you know." Are you sure you don't have this backwards? Because is Epic it the other usually, way around? Yeah, Epic usually has a smaller cut, and they they pay the developers. To drop their prices, but I'm, I'm I'm talking about way before the Epic Game Store was a thing that they were pushing, when Steam games versus console games would be a little oh, bit yeah, cheaper. Yeah, absolutely. Steam games, uh, PC games traditionally cost ten bucks less because the extra ten bucks was coming from the list prices, and Steam was uh, charging less for that. Yeah, that, and they were nearly all digital anyway. Yes. So, so um, the idea of passing that on to the to the end uh, MSRP uh, was, you know, something that was like, okay, well, the consumer wins on that one, you know. Okay. What a fucking. I'm I'm I await Epic's with bated breath. Is taking Epic's team on this. I'm very excited um, to see how this shakes out. I hope they all burn down. The, the results will be very important, certainly. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. This is some uh, corporate dystopia shit. Which is extremely topical with uh, what we've been discussing. I love it. Thanks, George. He nailed it, didn't he? He super nailed it. He that nailed it. Five. <laughs> he fucking like. Whew. 
You want to talk about like one and done and we're good. Now let's spend the rest of our time discussing that same thing for the next 70 years.